Welcome to the English Outlook. Greetings to all the CLAT and ALIT 2024 aspirants. And if you know nothing about ALIT 2024, this video is especially for you. Because here we are going to discuss what exactly is National Law University Delhi and how exactly will we get into it through ALIT, an introduction of it. First of all, who am I? Hi, my name is Prakash Sharma and I have appeared in ALIT 2023 and I have secured an All India rank of 51. I have been allotted a seat in National Law University Delhi and will be joining it very soon. Why exactly National Law University Delhi? National Law University Delhi has been ranked at the second position for law by NIRF for five consecutive years, second only to NLSIU Bangalore. National Law University Delhi has a fantastic placement percentage record of 100%. National Law University Delhi offers 123 seats for the BALLB program. NLU Delhi offers many top class facilities that are being availed by students that help them in their career, which includes centrally air conditioned buildings, a two floor library, an auditorium that has a seating of 650 people equipped with the latest state of the art audio and visual equipment. It has an internet and computer center which has been attached to its own library, which helps the student in this era of online courts. And of course, what is a law college if not without seminar rooms and moot court halls? National Law University Delhi offers four of such seminar rooms and moot court halls. Well, if National Law University Delhi offers all these things together, then how do you get into National Law University Delhi? The answer is fairly simple. A I L E T. ALIT, All India Law Entrance Test. The test, the competitive exam that is being carried out by National Law University Delhi for the past many years. How do we apply for All India Law Entrance Test? The application process is fairly simple. First, you need to apply online at nludelhi.ac.in. Following which, NLU Delhi will release the admit cards which the candidates can download. Following that, you will have to appear for the exams, check the results and you will be allotted a seat in NLU Delhi. Sounds easy enough, right? It isn't that easy. ALIT is one of the most toughest exam in India with more than 15,000 students fighting for not more than 110 seats, the success rate is less than 0.8%. What is the eligibility criteria for ALIT? Anyone who has cleared the class 12th with more than 45% marks in the general category and 40% marks in the SC, ST, PWD category is eligible for taking ALIT. There is no upper age limit for appearing in the ALIT examination. Seat matrix. What does the seat matrix look like in ALIT and NLU Delhi? How many seats does the college offer? Let's see. NLU Delhi offers a total of 123 seats, out of which 50 are general seats, 24 are OBC seats, 17 SC seats, 18 ST seats and 11 seats for the economical weaker section EWS making it a subtotal of 110 seats. But there are seats reserved for Kashmiri migrants that is one seat, two seats reserved for the residents of Jammu and Kashmir and 10 seats reserved for foreign nationals making it a subtotal of 123 seats. Then what does the calendar for ALIT 2023 and 2024 look like? This is purely based on the events that happened during the 2023 paper. Usually, ALIT registration starts from September to November. The candidates will be given roughly two to three months to register for this exam. 
following which in November end the admit cards will be released by ALIT. The exam is held in December mid. In 2023, the exam was held on 19th of December. Sorry, on 11th of December 2022, and the results were declared on 19th of December 2022. We are expecting a same pattern this year. What exactly comes in ALIT examination? There are 150 questions, but just 90 minutes, which gives us not even 35 seconds for a question. There is a huge time constraint in the ALIT examination. Candidates will be awarded one mark for each correct answer and 0 0.5 marks will be, will be deducted if the, he answers incorrectly. There is no deduction or addition of marks for unattempted questions. <coughs> there are three major sections in the ALIT examination. English which has 50 questions in it. Logical plus the legal section which has been combined offers 70 questions in total majorly comprising of logical reasoning. General knowledge on the other hand has only 30 questions in the entire paper. English section will be a passage based section. Logical section also will be a passage based section to an extent of 90%. What about the rest 10%? The 10% can be in the form of puzzles, which, which can include topics that can vary from direction test to uh, match the following, anything and everything under the sun. General knowledge is quite different from CLAT. In CLAT, GK also has passage based questions, whereas in ALIT, GK comes in the form of one-liners. There will be no passages for GK section. Cutoffs. How do we know after attempting the paper that we will get into the college or not? These are the trends that have been seen in the 2023 paper. All ranks here are mentioned in all India rank and no category ranks have been mentioned. All India ranks 74 also managed to get into NLU Delhi. This is the last general rank that has managed to get into NLU Delhi. The last SC rank that managed to get into NLU Delhi was 1456. For ST it was 3030. For EWS it was 606. For OBC non creamy layer it was 484. For residents of Jammu and Kashmir it was 473. And for Kashmiri migrants, it was 920. So, you would think that ALIT is a pretty difficult examination to crack and out of 150 marks, we should score at least 100 to get into this college. Well, this is a myth. Let's have a topper comparison here. All India rank 1 could only manage to score 92 marks. All India rank 2 scored 91.25 marks. All India rank 3 got a total marks of 90.25 and the last general rank that managed to get into the college got marks 71.75, not even 50% of marks. Hence, we can conclude that depending on the difficulty of the paper, we have to be we have to decide that how many questions we have to attempt and how many marks will be required to crack this examination so i hope we have answered all your queries all your questions and all the information that you required you found in this video so what are we waiting for start your preparation today with us and success awaits you thank you